Hey everybody, what's up? Circus here, coming at you with another Rogue Deck video. And I think we're going to change the series a little bit. We always just kind of did like Rogue Deck Volume 3, Volume 4. I think this <laughs> week, uh, we're, what we want to do is uh, this week in Rogue Decks, because uh, every week I collect data for the power rankings and I see every deck that's been played over the past week. And uh, this way, I, we can talk about decks that actually got played in tournaments this week. And there are a lot of Rogue Decks. They usually don't top, but they're always in Swiss. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to shine a light on him a little bit. Yeah, for sure. All right. So obviously we got Rye here with me to to go Hello. over everything. Um, so we're just going to get started right away. Uh, we saw the return of Amazons mm -hmm. this week. Yeah. Yeah, it was super interesting. So Amazons, of course, they got that um, slight buff mm -hmm. um, with Anna Princess getting off the list. Um, so people were very interested in seeing what the deck could do. Um Interesting enough, they had a pretty decent Ritual Beast matchup, uh, being able to, of course, banish when they swing into stuff. So things like Wind Dust All just didn't work on the deck, um, amongst other things. So it was interesting to see. Um, overall, I don't believe that deck ended up topping just because, you know, it's, it's still an incredibly old deck. Uh, the actual monsters themselves don't do anything. <laughs> right, it's <laughs> all know, in the, the trap, um, yeah. Yeah, the trap's doing stuff. The other back row in the, in the games is doing stuff, but... Um, yeah, I mean, it's 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 just not not enough uh, support right now for the deck to really do anything. Uh, will be interesting to see if they do add any support for the deck. Obviously, with it being on their mind since they just buffed it, uh, it'll be interesting to see. But yeah, as of right now, is is it still full on helmet where they're playing Holy Guard? Is that what we saw? Or we did see Holy Guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I thought. <laughs> you basically just swing in Amazon Swordswoman's gonna do. Um, a bunch of damage because she keeps swinging into things she's not supposed to be swinging into. Um, yeah. Now, and yeah, come to think of it, I, I did see uh, on, on Battleface Sunday, Amazon's taking on Witchcrafters, and it wasn't good because they, you know, have the Veer in defense, and then yeah. <laughs> Swordswoman's there, and it's like, well, you could <laughs> try attacking him, but they're going to negate yeah, your effect, and then yeah. So yeah. it's it's just kind of a case of too little, too late. I mean. Uh, mm -hmm. Like you said, the monsters themselves don't really do anything. That the text on their card is so short, and all the new yeah. cards have really <laughs> long a, text. It's too short. Yeah, it's just it's just not enough. Um, you know, like it's 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 too little, too late. Like you said, um, the only thing I could see that could be kind of interesting is that one field spell. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but it, it like constantly keeps summoning them when they die. Um, oh, but even that, there's just not, there's just yeah. the, the actual yeah. monsters themselves just aren't, um, just aren't powerful. So yeah, I think it's like Amazon is village maybe or something like that. Yeah, it's something a, like that. It's in one yeah. of the deck challenges. It's one of it's a, it's the level three deck challenge or uh, mm -hmm. dual quiz. It's a right, new, right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, another one, believe it or not, this is a deck that people have always hated, but there's always a, a small group of people that still love it, and that's Metaphys. Oof. Metaphys. I know, right? Where are you at with that one? I, I, I had the deck when it first came out, and I kind of had fun, but a lot of people uh, were like, you know, it, at the time, they were like, oh, it's kind of big brain, you know, because you had to think like a <laughs> half a turn ahead. Right. And they hated that it went on their turn. You know, like you mm -hmm. make your play and then you take a second turn during their standby phase. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Metaphys is still has pretty much the same. The only real major difference is Aloof Lupine and Kiteroid interaction. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Aloof Lupine, when he just gets destroyed, you can bring about uh, a banished card. Um, so infinite Kiteroids is pretty cool. Um, but, you know, ultimately it's the same issues as before. If it gets blitzed too fast, um, they don't do anything. And obviously right. losing grit is pretty bad too. Um, they get OTK'd way easier now. Um, so that's an issue as well. Um, Malefic, or not Malefics, I'm sorry, Witchcrafters. I don't know Witchcraft. I those now the one interesting uh, thing I will yeah. say about um, Metaphys is the AOE Special Summon Banish is pretty cool. Um, uh, that's, that's about it, though. That's, like, the only relevant thing that they can do right now. Just AoE banish, and you can't respond to it uh, with, the, with the field spell. It's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. You can't witchcraft for that or anything like that. Um, but, yeah, the only real thing that, that's been somewhat new is the Aloof Lupine Kiteroid uh, combination and just being able to just slow down the game to a point. Because if you get to that manifest point where you've got the field, sp or the field spell, the trap, the constant monsters going and going and going, it is pretty hard to break without a cosmic cyclone or something um 
<laughs> it's just so slow to get to that point where right. the effects are actually going. It's like I'd be surprised if no one kills you by then, to be honest. Well, I was, you know, back in the day, people laughed, but I always said it had a good Blue Eyes matchup, and it does. And they, we used to see it a lot in Team Wars. It'd be sent in as a counter uh, mm -hmm. to Blue Eyes. With Blue Eyes making a resurgence, are we going to see a Metaphys resurgence? Nah. <laughs> Not anymore. Um, the, pro the thing with Blue Eyes now is they have um, Blue Eyes Alternate Dragon, which mm -hmm. can pop a free monster every turn. Um, and then Spirit Dragon negating things from the grave uh, is a huge problem for them as well. Um, with their Kyroids activating from Grave, with uh, Lufu Pine activating from Grave, um, all that stuff activating from Grave, it just gets negated and you can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing I would really comfortably play Metaphys into would actually, hilariously enough, probably be Shira Nui. Um, really? How cow? Because all of their monsters are special summoned, none of their normal summon monsters are a threat. Yep. Um, their back row can be banished with Phoenix. Uh, you summon a Phoenix and she banishes all the back row. And once they're obviously sure, no, he doesn't care if their small boys get banished, but their big boys, when they get banished, it's a pretty much a problem, <laughs> right? So get the data you know, you, out in the field, and yeah, and you know, you're not gonna have um, like it's it sucks to get like your field spell constantly popped from um, not your field spell, your trap card popped from Sun Saga effect, uh, but yeah, they don't play Cosmic Cyclone, so you don't have to worry about that, you just have to worry about the two Sun Sagas and that's it, and they can be dealt with Daedalus, you don't even need the trap for that um, yeah, it's a deck that doesn't really care about Floodgate Trap Hole that much, the, the Tyrant Dragon can't even be affected by it uh, yeah, so hilariously enough, that's probably <laughs> one of their better matchups, and even then um, you know, if, if the, meta, if the uh, sub, or Shurnui player knows what they're doing it should be alright yeah, I, I just think it's a deck that takes two to three to four turns to set up. Just... <laughs> yeah, the game's way too fast. There is support for it. Um, Metaphys Ragnarok, which could be interesting if they put that into the game. Um, another, another Banish kind of support. And if, if they have that stuff, it might be cool. Okay. Uh, what about uh, a Metaphys Synchro Monster? <laughs> I don't is think that even possible? I, mean, <laughs> I have no idea. Is there? Let's see. Metaphys Synchro... I don't know if that exists. Oh yeah, there is Metaphys Horus. There you go. There you <laughs> go. That's what good? you need apparently. Uh, if this card synchro summoned, uh, normal monsters face up is unaffected by their effects this turn. You can target. It has Pendulum in the name, so you're not going to oh, get it. Never going to see it. Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to see cards Ooh. now in the latest box that uh, talk about columns. Did you notice? Yeah. That? Talk about columns. Yeah. Yep. That'll, be, that'll be interesting. All right, so another deck that we see a lot of, and maybe it's because it's in the same box of Power of the Guardians. And anytime you're, uh, you know, Power of the Guardians is probably one of the best cards in the game. So everybody's of trying, course. To, trying to get three to four to ten copies of it. <laughs> and in the process, you end up getting sub terrors. Right, sub terror. Deck, uh, that was like a tier one deck that was just destroying everybody because of a skill. Right. And then they nerfed the skill and it kind of went away. And then people are like, hey, you can play Labyrinth Builder with this and go neg <laughs> seven on your first turn. It's great. But yet, I still see it on the ladder a little bit. And people have been bringing it uh, week after week to tournaments. Yeah, and occasionally it'll top here and there. Um, the big thing with Subterror is it was very powerful when there was also less monster negation as well. Um, so there wasn't much you could do when a, a subterror warrior and the subterror monster were on the board, they just had protection. Uh, they could chain block you and target you and get you out of there. Um, but now there's just so many decks, uh, and obviously, of course, Fiendish Chains in the game. So that's like literally every deck has monster negation if they want it for for no cost, essentially. Because if you think about things that don't have um, or cards besides Fiendish Chain for monster negation, you have Divine Wrath. You have to discard a card. You have Void Trap Pole. You have to meet specific requirements, and then you can negate them. Um, so that was that's already kind of a struggle as the meta kind of sh goes away from mm. what Subterra can do. And then on top of that, you got uh, <laughs> anti-targeting, right? Like Luna Lights. Yeah, okay, you can banish, but if you can't target the Luna Light monster, then you can never banish her. So what do you do right. at that point, you know? Um, and then, you know, of course, the, the, the issue of Cosmic Cyclone has always been there. That's something that they used to just always have to play around. Uh, but now that you have to go Neg 2 instead of Neg 1, um, for for your summoned 
uh, monster to go into your subterra warrior you lose less of a chance to have another back row to bluff with so if you're going first for example um you play the subterra warrior you put two cards back into your deck which is bricking you right there um and then you have one card to set <laughs> you know so right. it doesn't matter if it's a sub terror final battle or what it is if i open cosmic going second woof it's gone you know so it's but this it, uh it's this particular deck i remember watching it it was sub terror that went into orion gondrax <laughs> do you remember that <laughs> yes do you remember so this very you would explain that a cool. little bit yeah, so um, Diva, the tuner, uh, Deep Sea Diva, if you do two of them uh, plus the wall, it's enough for a Quarion. If you right. do one of them plus one Diva, because you don't have to summon the other one, one Diva and one wall, it's a Black Rose Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, if you open Diva, you got some plays with that. Because um, Diva searches Diva or something like mm -hmm. that, right? Yeah, you can yeah. search Divas with Diva. Yeah, it's, yep. it's, it's pretty neat. Um, Overall, it's it's a deck that's kind of waiting for the, the most my any any level of support, and that deck's right back on the tier list. Um, there's a lot of crazy sub terror support out there, so we'll okay. see we'll see what Konami wants to do with that. All right, so moving on from sub terror, this is a deck I could not believe got played because it's been dead for so it's been dead for over a year, year and a half. I can't remember two years now at this point. Kara Curry, I think it was one of the first synchro decks to come out so would that be about a year and a half ago at yeah least? it was a long time ago yeah someone brought Kara curry i didn't see the deck i didn't see it got played but it was in one of the battle phases <laughs> i couldn't believe it yeah so it's car curry is interesting it's a um you know like i said a synchro based deck it did get a little bit of support um a few boxes ago uh and that's when we kind of saw um a heavy heavy Kara Curry Synchro, where they're not even Synchro summoning the Kara Curry monsters. It's more like a tool toolkit that's kind of happening. Right. A lot of Black Rose Dragons, a lot of stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, the deck itself, I mean, it's just it's just a standard Synchro deck. There are other uh, Synchro decks that do its job, but even better. Uh, so that's why you probably aren't seeing many Kara Currys do well, just because they the the boards that they end on. Other decks pretty much end on something similar, but they're going to end it on with also some back row included instead of, um, you know, no back row included. <laughs> well, because if I so. remember the old build, there wasn't a lot of room for tech space because you could draw your whole deck or, you know, draw a lot of it pretty easily with their, all their uh, spell cards and stuff. Mm -hmm. But you weren't really drawn into a whole lot. Maybe a couple Econs or something, you know, to kind of do a cheese right. play for a game. But mm -hmm. um, a lot of people swore by the deck back in the day. Like, oh, it's the best deck in the game. But it seemed like it was really hard to get wins. Like, you really had to know what you were doing in a competitive environment to get a win with it. Um, yeah. And, I mean, this, 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 you know, same situation kind of right now. You know, you, a lot of... Um technical play to make sure you get all your draws from your uh, your car curry draw card you have to constantly switch your monsters to attack and defense um and of course with the addition of purgatrio in the game uh that pretty much was like okay i don't care if you go into defense when i swing i'm still gonna do just a ton right. of damage to you right so i don't know not too much to say about car curry other than um they're a synchro engine deck that just they create similar boards to any other synchro deck or non synchro deck, um, but those those decks are do it faster and have back row to back them up. Yeah, so I guess if if you're that one player that played it, I would uh, just give me a shout out. Thank you very much. It was good to see something <laughs> from so long ago. Um, and the final deck we're gonna do tonight. This was a deck that came out uh, in a, a structure deck, and it made absolutely no impact. No splash <laughs> whatsoever. I've, I'm not even sure. I think I saw it played once on the ladder, maybe, and that's the Fire King deck. Mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. What to say about Fire Kings? So Konami's kind of. I, I talked a little bit about this in my review of Fire Kings. Um, Konami's doing this trend with um, structure decks where they release the best card in a U as a UR in a main box later down the line. Uh, they right. did this with Dragoonity. They did this with Gladiator Beast. Both decks became um, playable only after the main box UR was released. Mm -hmm. um, with Fire Kings, it's it's tough to say, even if they give them the the good cards, if they'll even be good at that point. Um, because the, the best card I can think they could add... I mean, there's two. One I think they're not going to add, but one that could be added is one that um, can negate 
uh, monster effects and uh, spell cards, trap cards, stuff like that. Um, I don't remember which one exactly. Let me actually look it up very quickly. Fire King. Um, so here it is. Fire King Arvada. Um, he uh, negates monster effects. Uh, he's a level 4, 1800 attack. You summon him, quick effect, he can negate monster effects. Um, well, that's a cool effect with an 1800 body. Uh, I I just don't see that being like um, the Super thing OP, that fixes yeah. the deck. Yeah, um, you know the 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 high king dude. He he destroys instead of banishes, mm-hmm. um, and he has to target as well. Um, so I don't I don't I don't know. <laughs> well, I don't know about all that. I I always keep bringing up witchcrafters because if you guys haven't seen the video, I dropped way too much money on witchcrafters in another video. So that is my deck until the cards are just the pictures are worn off of them. Basically, I'm going to play that deck until it falls apart. But Witchcrafters are are a big gatekeeper for this deck, too, because, you know, Mm -hmm. they summon that Fire King boss. It can, like, destroy your monsters Mm -hmm. on your turn or whatever. It's like, negate, you know, the Veer, just negate. Here here comes the Phoenix, negate, you know. (laughs) Right. And I'm sorry, I didn't mean he had to negate the, you have to negate, you have to target him in order to to destruct the high, the big phoenix guy and it's just it's just one of those things where it's like well think of a um you know a sun saga that can come out and he can he can pop anything without targeting uh where the high king avatar phoenix guy he comes out and he pops all the monsters but he can't swing over Cassidus because he's too small um it's just it's just their old cards you know their old cards they were made by people with a different mentality with Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I don't think it's going to work very well. Um, I did see some Fire King um, decks do well. Mythyard actually played a Fire King Shiranui, I think, or something like that, mm-hmm. um, which was interesting. Uh, but even then, it, it didn't go as far as what he'd normally go with just a typical Shiranui deck. Um, I think we might be seeing the worst structure deck uh-huh. ever. <laughs> like the, in in the works, it's not even done yet. Well, we have to see what future. Support oh, there's gets. more. Okay. Yeah, like we have to see if because they have to release something, right? Like as a follow up, um, in the main box. That's kind of the 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 path they followed. Um, and depending on what they release, uh, we can then definitely say yes. This is the worst structure deck ever made. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I'm, gonna, know? I'm gonna challenge you with uh what's the one with the pyro blaze man and the pyro blaze woman or something. It was like one of the first structure decks to come out. But those weren't EX. Oh okay. Those are like five hundred gems. This is a whole whopping thousand gem and then you have to pay money on top of that. EX and means for... it's good, right? Is that what that means? <laughs> The what? The EX means it's good. Yeah, it's right? supposed to be good, yeah. And you know, we did get um Circle the Fire King out of it at least, which mm-hmm. is pretty neat. Um, so maybe that has some future support because that's just generic fire support. So maybe that has something to do in the future. At least that'll save the box. Uh, but as, as of right now, it is by far the worst structure you can go into. It's just unusable in in every facet. Um, just don't do it. Don't do it. Don't try to play in competitive. It's not gonna work. Um, and I, you know, I, 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 I hope they give them something. There's, there's a couple of cool cars they can give them, but I don't, I don't know if that's going to be enough. All right, let's get out of here then on that. Um, so if you guys like this week in rogue decks, we hope to see you next week. Uh, it's becoming one of my favorite series to do now, just because people are always surprised me with what they try to, uh, keep, keep around over the years. It's like, they just don't want a deck to die. So they just keep playing them. So <laughs> If you did like it, make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Uh, In our Discord, you can get announcements for our tournaments like Battle Phase and Anti Phase, which is our Sunday tournament. They're always free to enter, and you can uh, win a a prize, which is nice. And make sure to check out Gamersups. We're affiliated with them. There's a code in the description below. You can get 10% off. Um, And I think that's just about everything. So I'm Circus. That's Rye. Bye, YouTube. See you next time. Um, Cut this part out. Here it is. Oh, no, we're keeping this.